Hi, three types of pole to hold your microphone. Thing is, is when it comes to choosing a, a pole to use for your microphone to get it closer to you, which kind is really best suited for your purposes? Is it going to be something like this one, which is the uh, a, a big one, uh, eight to 10 feet long, quite big? Or would it be better for you to have a little tiny miniature one like this? If you had a miniature one like this, you could use it a lot because it's easy to carry around. It does get it a little bit closer or something in between like this little one down here from road which one's best for you let's have a look it's such a lovely day today that i decided to do the review out in the garden so the first type of boom pole that i'm going to look at is the traditional boom pole where you need someone to basically hold the thing like that and uh, this thing goes right out about eight feet to ten feet now these are great um, as long as you've got someone to hold it for you because they're, they're big monsters. They're quick to undo as well, very, very quick. This one is one that's made by Newer. And as you can see, it goes to an enormously useful length. And uh, that way you can really get good audio using a good shotgun microphone, but you do need someone to hold it. Now there's another use for this type of thing is to put a, a stand on the bottom here you can buy these separately like this is this is one of these things that's used for um, uh, monopods and that way you can then place your microphone in the scene and just plonk it down right in scene like that obviously you get it out of shot but again you can raise and lower this so it, it, it becomes like a, a microphone on a stand now that's very very useful now the other useful thing is to be able to get something like this um, is a is a normal this this is actually a boom stand it's cheaper to buy than a c stand if you buy a c stand which is rock solid but uh, you're going up into over a hundred pounds for one of those so i just got a, a a cheap old boom stand and instead of using the arm i've put this cradle on here and the thing is this cradle holds the boom pole for you and you can raise and lower it and angle it with this bracket that also comes from newer actually they're about 20 pounds or so and that way you can use this as a fantastic um, boom sta a stand with a stand uh, with the stand going as well so you can get the microphone well out of the way and very very high in your room again it's heavy but um, let's just show you what I mean so let's get the table out of the way <sighs> table's gone so what you do is you basically set the stand up to stand like that angle it to whatever angle you want you get your boom pole and you basically take off the the legs these actually screw off the bottom because this boom pole has a screw thread in the bottom you just basically take that off and you place it inside like that and uh, there you are you have a, a, a standard type of boom pole now the advantage of this is that as you push the pole out further so as you push this thing out basically there's more forward weight so there's the potential for this to topple so what i do is i push it out but also put the boom pole further back so its own weight is balancing with the extension at the extensions thinner than the back so therefore you can get a little bit further and i found that i can virtually put this thing across my living room and it stays there quite happily and you can angle it change the angle by either via the the bracket here or this adjustment on the boom stand and you can raise and lower it as well from the uh, mic stand there you go so now it's out of shot and probably now yes it's back in shot so this thing is really very useful but i would say that this is more useful really um, for in indoor use i wouldn't be uh, carrying something like this around it's a bit too weighty but they are good they are very good they get the microphone close this particular one is rather nice it's got two grips for your for your boom operator it's got uh, it comes with a nuts to that go it's screw threads that go into the end there with different threads a 3 h thread or a quarter thread so you can put whatever you want at the top there the one thing it doesn't have is a locking nut to lock the microphone on so it would need i think really a locking nut and it comes with these velcro velcro straps and these uh, hold the uh, 
the microphone wire down to some extent although if you move it around it can bash the sides you can go up as well in these i mean this is a, just a cheap one and it does it does do the job i must say it does the job quite well but you can get uh, some slightly more expensive ones that are made made of uh, carbon fiber which would be about half the weight of this and uh, also they've got this clever little arrangement where you can take the screw off the top the wire goes inside and down inside the pole and comes out the bottom end so it's out of the way and that's a useful thing to have but seeing as i only use this at home and it's not moved around and it's cheap i thought this would do the job and this is only about 35 pounds or so so it's a good buy although this is this is a thing that you need with it as well i, I would say because if you want to do any filming with yourself in it you can't be holding this thing around running around with this thing so great for home home use indoors but not so great for portable use so now we're going to look at some portable ones now this boom pole is a bit of a halfway house this is one made by road um, i'm in two minds about this one because of the way it's sold it, it has no locking collar at the top just a screw thread so if the screw doesn't go fully into the uh, microphone you're left with a bit of bare screw and also at the bottom of this screw thread it's it's bare it's the screw thread only goes down so far kind of strange but i'm, I'm not keen on this locking system you're supposed to twist it and it locks now the thing is this one goes to about six feet i think it is so this is quite light it's very lightweight it's much lighter than the the newer one i'm not keen on the locking system because i used this once and after one use the locking system failed to work other than at the extremes if you put it in the middle it just keeps twisting so i'm not keen on the build of this one um, it doesn't come with any straps but it's useful because you can uh, basically film with this either under slung and hold it yourself with your camera if you want to although as i say the locking system's not the greatest it's got a long piece of foam so you can actually hold it on your arm like that so that's quite easy to hold while you're filming so this is kind of a halfway house this could be used in the house as a boom pole on a stand but it can it's light enough to actually be carried which is a great bonus but as i say with this road one i do have problems with this locking system not working and i've seen reviews where people have mentioned this before as well where the locking doesn't work properly and the fact that it doesn't come with velcro velcro straps it doesn't come with any kind of locking down system on the top but again it's cheap it's about 35 pounds so it's it's not bad value but i am suspicious about this locking system that's a shame as far as getting the microphones closer on the move this is for sure the most useful item that i have this costs an enormous amount 11 pounds it's just basically a selfie stick i've put uh, a little ball and socket joint on the top and uh, it's this fast to get up and that's it just a short stick but actually that is enough for most shots to get the microphone close so what i do is i angle the uh, microphone to whatever angle i need on this so you can you can basically set it whatever angle you want and off you go you can get the microphone now this shot is being taken from about six feet away five six feet away and there's the microphone close and this is very very useful for getting the microphone close to your subject when they're not too far away and it's easily carried around and can be changed length now the other thing with this is just by using this if i can find it not sure if i can find it let's see oh here it is it's in my pocket one of these this is a manfrotto mini thing and uh, you can just basically put that on the bottom and you now have a stand for your microphone which means you can angle this now again right close to your subject so now there it is put up and you can stand it right there and angle your microphone up at your subject and there you go there's your microphone and uh, this is this has been very very useful for getting a decent shotgun mic close to subjects um, I, so I often walk around with this on the end because that counterbalances the microphone as well just that little bit of weight there and um, it also acts as a as a rest for your arm so you can just basically open the legs of the thing slightly and, and it rests there dead easy so you can film at the same time this one costs 11 pounds and I'm not sure how much the there's the ball and socket joint costs but um, they're not expensive 
but this is the one I use the most, funnily enough. I've put links to all the products down below, so if you're interested in any of them, you can go and have a look at them. So uh, for me, the choice is, do you want a large boom pole where you might need someone to hold it for you, or use it as a studio pole on your stand? Would you like something in between, a medium thing that can be easily carried around, uh, lightweight, and goes to about six feet or so? Or the miniature option uh, that I use so often, actually, although at the moment I'm using a lav mic. So um, it's just basically what sort of filming do you want to do and uh, which boom pole gets least in the way. So hopefully this video has helped you make a decision if you're looking for a pole to hold your microphone rather than go directly for a huge boom pole maybe. Some people it suits, some people it doesn't. Just depends what you want to do. And it's certainly, all of them, they certainly improve your audio um, compared to uh, having one on top of the camera. Or um, if you don't want to wear a lav mic because you don't like the sound of a lav mic, at least it gives you the choice of a better microphone on the end of a stick that gets it closer to your speaker. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing and even better, click the thumbs up. Hope to see you next time. Cheers for now.